Hello everyone, I'm Nilufar from Iran. I'm one of the interns of the International Exchange Program of World Heritage USA 2023. I'm a master's student of World Heritage Studies at the Brandenburg University of Technology in Germany. And my background is in conservation of historic buildings at the Art University of Isfahan and also in art and animation at the Fine Art School of Isfahan. But I spent my internship at the Office of History Preservation in San Antonio, Texas with the other two interns that you already were presented by their project. Though we all were in San Antonio, we were working in different offices as you can see in this slide. So I just skipped the shared experiences that we had together to not make you bored to hear it all over again. Just if you didn't notice, we all had the same t-shirt of San Antonio. Yeah. So, as I mentioned, I was in the Office of Historic Preservation and the office was running different kind of projects and legal procedures meanwhile of my internship that I had the chance to participate in, including demolition requests and public hearings, material deconstruction in historic site, examining the new constructions in historic neighborhoods, restoration of historic houses, the amazing pre uh, preservation race events for kids, Discovery Map and the Local Markers Program. The project that I was involved in as an intern was the Local Markers Program. To give you a better picture, the Office of History Preservation of San Antonio has developed two local historical marker programs. There's a history here, which is a crowdsource story sharing and mapping program with the stickers and the small markers installed at each site. And history here that is a community reviewed historical marker program that results in a plug with the help of community partners and public history advocates. But what I was going through, I had to find a story to develop related to this program. For this purpose, I needed to get to know the city better, so I started doing some academic research to make a basic background and then I went through the field research to get to know the pop culture and local communities better. In the academic research that I went through, I had identified three noteworthy points, nature, missions, and people. I was seeking to find someone or something with heritage potential as a representative of San Antonio and the capability to be displayed as a part of local markers program that has also a shared value between nature, missions, and people. I found the concept, but I was not sure if I would be able to find this special story in the limited time that I had back then, but I just went through the process by trusting this verse of the poem a step in a way, don't ask how to go through. The path itself we will show you the right route. By Atar Puri, an Iranian poet and Sufi. This verse honestly has been one of my life's guides since years ago and I remember it whenever there are shadows on my way. That's when out of all the days of hopeless investigations, I happened to see this artwork in, in the San Jose pilgrimage center by chance. The reason that this special piece got so interesting to me was that I could identify the triangle of mission nature people on that. On that special moment, all I wanted to know was, who is the artist? And someone responded, Brother Clitus. But who is the Brother Clitus? Have you ever happened to face something that there is no actual information about it? Meanwhile, there is lots of information about it. This is Brother Cletus for me. I went through more than 70 websites. I collected pictures of art pieces and pictures scattered all over the internet. Meanwhile, I was taking notes about the places related to Brother Cletus. Then I did some random surveys to gather more information. I visited St. Mary's University of San Antonio, Lisa's Mexican restaurant and art galleries to gather pieces of information. After all, I made an Excel sheet to organize all the information that I have been gathering all summer about the art pieces. Some of them had detailed infos and many of them just had a name or a size tag on them. But finally, I could create a bigger yet detailed picture of Brother Clitus' life and art. He was a pop expressionist artist, meanwhile he was a Marianist brother. As I try to picture it better on this slide, his artworks stand out for their vibrant word and dedication to illustrating San Antonio's tangible and intangible heritage, 
particularly the missions that were selected as UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2015, just one year uh, before he died in 2016. After hours of categorizing and observation, I could highlight three main qualities of his artworks. First of all, his art is widespread at international, national, and local levels. He has many paintings in international locations such as China, France, Germany, and so on. He used to do fundraising by selling artwork for charities and people in need all around the USA, especially in Texas. He was so close to locals that everyone has a story about him. As is mentioned in some of the sources, he had this ability to make connection between people and his art was a celebration of life dedicated to people. He was a person who had the ability to make social bonds through collaboration and collective action, physical and material supports and shared experiences and enjoyment. His artwork can be found throughout Marianne's communities, in galleries, homes, public buildings, and private collections across the United States. Secondly, he was creating artwork in a variety of techniques. His art came in metal, acrylic, watercolor, batik, pastels, stained colors, stained glass, sorry, ceramics, handmade paper, and so on, and many different materials like canvas. And also skilled as a carpenter, he also crafted and decorated altars, tables, chairs, and other furniture, as well as sculptures, both figurative and abstract. He's been called shockingly productive. And his work is around the city as a as an evidence. Uh, it says that there was hardly a medium that Brother Cletus didn't work on. The third quality that I highlighted, maybe the most outstanding one, here is presenting heritage of San Antonio through his artworks. By illustrating San Antonio urban and heritage side landscapes, not only does he bring people's attention to those unique frames of the city, he's also one of the kind who have been trying to present San Antonio's outstanding values. At the end of the internship, I came to develop a website to share the story of Brother Cletus. Though I am still working on it, the first version is available at www.artlet-heritage.com. By making this platform, I hope that people might share more information and details about Brother Cletus and I will be able to complete this collection of information progressively. At the final part of my presentation, I would like to um, say that there is a thing that I really love about participating in internships and that's how you can not just only get closer to the world of differences and its beauty, but also to you. I found out how important it has been to me to work with local artists and how I get fascinated by each and every art lot heritage. Moreover, I got, the, I got to share experiences in lots of cultural events, sharing traditional foods, celebrations like 4th of July in the internship, and I made a lot of friends for a lifetime. I met professionals and I spread the network through the heritage community. And one more uh, interesting thing is to observe the way others tackle the same problem in different countries, cities, cultures. I especially want to appreciate the other artists that I fell into her work quickly uh, because I, I couldn't work on her, uh, I didn't have enough time to do a proper examination, but Angelica illustrated the unique birds of Texas and we happened to see some of them through the Mission Road. And also Sepide from Fort Pavel and Carson Architects Company, the company responsible for maintaining the mission, whom I met in San Antonio and I could get to know the city by her kindness and the time that she dedicated to me. And at the end, I would like to mention my supervisor, Rachel Retalieta, and the kindness that she had through the internship. And uh, both Rachel and Jessica Anderson, the developers of the local markers program. And at the end, I would like to appreciate World Heritage USA for um, giving us this opportunity to be in this experience to experience this and uh, my office office of historic preservation world heritage office and mps national park service for the wonderful 
events that they prepared for us. That's all for me and thanks for your attention.